Hello, 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 and welcome to this edition of A Quick Pint. Now, you may recall that in the last video, I talked about the weak positive relationship between intelligence and agreeableness, and I also showed the evidence that intelligence is a far more important predictor of socioeconomic status than is agreeableness. And uh, I, I hope that, was, that, 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 that has stimulated a lot of very interesting and intelligent discussion, and I've been, um, I've been very pleased with it. Um, however, there are some comments, uh, boys, which I've, I've not been so pleased with, because... Uh, they indicate that people don't understand the nature of a correlation uh, and they don't understand how correlations work. And I'm, I'm, not, I, I, I'm not happy about that. I mean, most of you, I, I, most of you have, have, have done very well. You've worked hard. You've, um, you know, you've made very heretical and, and based comments uh, and intelligent comments. And I'm sure you will get, you will pass your GCSE in based on the studies. I, 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 I'm confident of that. But some of you, I'm, I, I, I think you may struggle uh, getting your, your GCSE in based on the studies. And so I, I want to sort of help this out. I, I don't want to pick on anybody in the class. I don't, I don't want to pick on anybody in the class. But um, some of you, I, I think I, I, re I really do need to highlight some, some issues with your thinking um, so that you can improve, uh, so that you can obtain your GCSE in based on the studies. Um, and so, you know, it, it works for all of us. I think that some of you, I mean, some of you, obviously, I appreciate you all, you all work very hard to, to, to be more based and to be um, heretical thinkers. But some of you, I think, need to maybe work a little bit harder, maybe, you know, up your game. So I'm, I'm going to start off with um, a comment that was made by Nino Your Busness. And he says, um, in response to my video, Klaus Schwab was voted the most agreeable in his class, undoubtedly. Okay, let's 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 have a look at the, the problems here. So this is an argument against the assertion that there is a correlation between agreeableness and intelligence. So um, first of all, there was an exclamation mark. So it, this is an appeal to sarcasm. This is a logical fallacy. Okay, you're, you're trying to use sarcasm as a counter argument. So that's a fallacy. So that's not an acceptable argument. Secondly, as I stated, the relationship between intelligence and solving social problems, i.e. emotional intelligence, is only about 0.3. And the relationship between agreeableness and intelligence may well be less than that. It may well be sort of 0.2 or something like 0.1 even. So it's a very weak correlation. So this means that you're always going to get outliers. So it, you, it's no good, substantial numbers of them as well. So it's no good highlighting an example of an intelligent person who is supposedly not very nice as a counter example to a, a statistical trend whereby based on a larger number a large number of people you get a correlation so what a correlation is is a relationship between two variables it ranges from one which is that the relationship is absolute it is always the case to minus one which means it is always not the case so if we say there is a relationship of 0.5, a correlation of 0.5 between how intelligent you are and how educated you are, then what that means is that half, 50% of the variance in why people, some people are more educated than other people can be put down to intelligence. Intelligence explains approximately half of why some people are more educated than other people. And the other half is explained by other things. And if it's a weak relationship, point two, then you're saying, well, 20% of it is explained by, let's say, intelligence, but the majority of it is explained by something else. So likewise, when you say intelligence is, 80, is 0.8 heritable, then what you're saying is that 80% 80, 80 of the, re essentially 80% of the reasons why people differ in intelligence are down to genes. So if you assert that, let's say, for example, there is a, re there is a, a negative relationship of minus 0.1 between being left-handed and believing in God, which uh, it, in a study that I did, that, that we found to be the case, then that is a weak relationship. But it, it's, if it attains statistical significance, which means that we can be at least 95% certain that it is not a fluke based on the sample size and the effect size and the SD, 
then we say it is a real, genuine relationship in science. Now, if you counter-argue, well, look, I know, lo I know loads of left-handed people that are really religious. That is no argument. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? It's only a weak relationship. That's the first thing. So it's perfectly possible if, if one finds a weak relationship for there to be all manner of counter, counter uh, examples, all manner of outliers in one's own experience. Although I would emphasize that appealing to one's own experience is the, is the fallacy of appeal to anecdote, because the fact that one's ex one, one has experienced something does not mean that it has been through proper statistical channels and is therefore necessarily scientifically true. So that's the nature of a correlation. So when someone says... <clears throat> That, uh, the, the, uh, the, I, I, there's loads of counterexamples in my experience to this correlation, particularly if it's a weak correlation, then one shouldn't be surprised by that at all, because it's only a relationship, and there's therefore inherently going to be outliers. Now, a second comment um, was made by um, a, a, a number of uh, re related comments. Well, um, so, um, Mr. Daniel Jobs, I thought this was a very good comment, So, um, and he says, I think you're 100% right about the average intelligence, but it's a different story when it comes to extreme intelligence, a.k.a. genius. Precisely. Exactly. And then Yasser 3 says, how do you reconcile this with the positive correlation between intelligence and autis autistic tendencies? Um, and again, this is, this, is, this is a very good point. Um, how do you do it? It's because, again, two things. Uh, first of all, um, it's only a relationship. It's only a correlation. So there's going to be all kinds of exceptions to it. But secondly, there is going to be, if you narrow the field, there is a difference between um, what you find in general... Uh, and what you find at the at, at, at one end of the curve or at the other end of the curve, at the left or right tail. So to give an obvious example, on average, people who are left-handed are less intelligent than people that are right-handed. However, people who are, have outlier high intelligence are more likely to be left-handed. Now, there's various reasons for that. There's no point going into them. I mean, one of them is probably the, the relationship with autism at the high level of intelligence. And autism is an expression of testosterone and left-handedness is an expression of testosterone. And therefore, you end up with these left-handed people that are, highly, that, are, that are highly intelligent. But there's a difference between the average. It's perfectly possible to have an average where, let's say, left-handed people have a lower IQ than right-handed people, but that at the extremes, and this is the case, at the extremes of left and right tail... Um, people are more likely to be left-handed. That's not a contradiction. That's just you're narrowing the statistical range to only the outliers. Similarly, y Yasser Three's remark, how do I reconcile it with autism? Well, again, it's because you've got a positive correlation overall between intelligence and agreeableness overall in the whole sample, but among the mega clever people, among the really clever people, if you just narrow it down to that sample, then you have this relationship with autism because autistic people are obsessed with the truth and obsessed with problems solving and are better at solving problems and end up for that reason scoring higher partly for that reason uh, in IQ tests so that's that, that that I hope makes clear that that nuance in the statistics uh, Mr Oliver Ollie Oliver says does a correlation work in reverse yes that's it's, it, it's a relationship between two variables so if left-handed people are on average less intelligent than right-handed people it of course works in reverse right-handed people are on average more intelligent than uh, left-handed people and um, the other problem um, th th that uh, again I have is uh, Mr. Mr Hyper Lama says in my experience intelligence is a quick ticket to unhappiness well, again, that's an appeal to experience. So we, we, we don't, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to, that, that's not relevant. Um, and Puffo PC says, explain the average politician, CEO, explain Elon Musk and Putin. Well, again, uh, these people are conceivably outliers. They might have very, very high intelligence. And no one's saying that very, very high intelligence is associated uh, with, uh, with, with agreeableness. That's not the same thing. And also people that are um, uh, senior politicians or whatever uh, may, may have outlier high intelligence combined with antisocial traits. And that is indeed true with geniuses, uh, highly, highly intelligent people, uh, but with, with, uh, with, with, with antisocial traits, which mean that they, they sort of psychopathic, essentially, and, and they get the balance right and they ascend to positions of great influence. So we have to understand these differences. And so I hope that now, that for those of you that weren't clear on it, that the nature of statistical significance is, 
is clear and the nature of a correlation is clear um, and therefore we can have no more of these counter arguments where you say oh well wh why is it that it doesn't work with this random person or this random person um, you know I mean you, you, I've, I've, I've do I'm doing my best here boys and I you know I appreciate you've got other other subjects you need to study for your GCSEs but this is you know you've got you've, you've, you've got up your game you uh, I, I, how much baseness homework are you doing every night are you going home and attending to your baseness homework straight away or are you going on your phone uh, on your apps are you spending time on your apps or are you spending time on your playstation playing the grand theft auto 5 is that what you're doing because that is time that you could be investing in studying you know based science or whatever but if you're just frittering it away on your apps and on your whatsapp and on your your your, your instagram and on your whatever else the young people do i i you know i can't help that and i need you to meet me halfway here okay i'm i'm doing my best to try and convey the based science to you but i need you to you know i need you to just I need you to up your game a lot of you I, I didn't mean to pick on Mr. Mr. Nino or or, or uh, Mr. Joe Jassaf or or whatever. You know, I didn't mean. I just, I, I just they were just examples. You know, you, some of you have made some excellent comments, such as Mr. Jobs, and and some of you have just made some really silly comments, such as uh, Mr. Puffo PC. And, I, and maybe he didn't mean to. Maybe he wasn't thinking. Maybe he was having a bad day. I don't know. But you know, you, you you've got to you've got to think this through. You've got to you've got to see that this is the correlation. It's it's a basic. It's a really quite basic thing. You know, and you just, you know, so um, basically all those that wrote intelligent comments, uh, please write in your diary, um, well done on doing well in your basedness test. And those that I've highlighted here, please write in your diary, must try harder in, in basedness test. And, you know, I don't want to have to give out detentions, but... If I get these kind of comments in the future, I, I may have to because it's just not it's not it's not acceptable. Okay, I would have really if you made those kinds of comments, and I, I've just given some representative examples, but I, I want you to really think about it. I mean, th go, think about how unacceptable those kinds of comments are. That they're, they're just not logical. It's not it's just not good enough. Okay, now I don't I don't mean to come down on you like a bloody great headmaster, but it's just not good enough. And you know you you need to sort your lives out. Hello, hello, hello! The Jolly Heretic is an online public house which meets on Mondays and Thursdays at 7pm UK time, 2pm New York, in which we discuss the kind of based, fearless science which is increasingly expunged from our woke, joke universities. If you would like to help the Jolly Heretic public house, and there are many ways you can do so, please, please, please become one of my patrons on Subscribestar. Also, if you want to, you can donate to the channel uh, using Odyssey and Entropy, and you can also purchase Jolly Heretic merchandise, such as uh, shirts and and mugs. All of the links are in the description. Again, I'd be most violently grateful if you could assist the Jolly Heretic Public House, and I will see you all soon, and goodbye!